What's up, war gamers? Welcome back to World of War Gaming. Today, we're going back into the Shadow Deep. We're going back to the same area, same community of farms that we were on on the patrol. However, this time we're bringing back the full force of our might to make sure that there are no civilians being left behind for the Shadow Keep or Shadow Keep, the Shadow Deep to just take. So, we got the full party and we're heading back out. This is a, another one of the player-written, fan-written missions that I found on the Facebook group. This one's by Pete Maples. Um, so go check it out. Go check out that Facebook group if you're not a member of it. Check out the mission. It's a lot of fun. And if you haven't hit that like button, that subscribe button, or that bell notification, please consider doing that for me because it really does help me out a lot. And then let's go take a look at the board, the mission, and see what happens on this foray into the Shadow Deep. After returning the remains of Dakin Darkhand to his eternal rest in Alador, the rest of the party gathers and discusses heading back to the farming community they investigated on the return trip from Torvarden. There could be more survivors, and if there are, we are honor bound to find them and escort them to safety. If there are not any survivors, then we are bound to exterminate the fiends that remain. Either way, there is little time to mourn a fallen friend. A ranger's duty is never done. We're coming back out as a full team to check out the rest of the farms in the surrounding area from where we did the patrol. So we've got the full team here. Now in this mission, if I'm understanding this correctly, and I think I am, it has a red deck and a black deck. And it says before the first turn, you choose three from the black deck. So I would assume you draw three and apply them. And that gives you your starting monsters for the board, which I think is awesome because it gives even more replayability to the mission. This is a piece of fan content, which I'm really enjoying playing the fan written missions. I like it. Um, this one's by Pete Maples. Um, found it again in the Rangers of Shadow Deep Facebook group. Uh, so I've got 10 turns to investigate as many of the clues, and I've, I've got to place one more clue token by a random tree. I forgot to do that. Um, so we've got the farmhouse, carriage house, barn, pond, trees, and outhouse. We're starting off with a no archer and a no sergeant in the middle, a zombie by the well, and a wolf in the far corner. Clue tokens are in the barn carriage house, well, boat, farmhouse, and there will be one near a random tree at least six inches away from their corner. I enter on this board, this corner, I can only leave the board on this corner. With the loss of Dakon, that left an open spot in the party. So the archer that I rest helped rescue and get back to safety the Laurentian has agreed to come back out into the, the edges of the Shadow Deep to check up on his people, um, which is commendable. He wanted to come, and so I allowed it, at least for this mission, while we continue to vet new entrant entries to our esteemed party of adventurers. Um, so this is Samuel. Samuel is an archer, and he's going to be joining us at least for this mission. There, he may be, he may stick around, he may not, but we're going to give him a chance to come out and sh prove his mettle. Samuel happens to be an expert lock picker. This comes from him being pretty much trapped in the shadow deep, bouncing from abandoned homestead to abandoned homestead and, and figuring out how to get into the houses to check for supplies and shelter and to rest and hide from the denizens of the shadow deep. That last clue token ended up over by the outhouse. And that gets us to round one, ranger phase. So I really want to deal with this archer. I don't like him being there. I don't like anything about him. I want him to go away. So I've got three shots. I'm going to start with Dundrick, and we're going to see what This happens. has no effect on the board. or for It's just there for looks because it's a farm, so I felt that it needed a field. Same as in the last game. All right. 14 plus 3 is a 17, which will beat their 10. Um, beats their armor by 6, so we'll deal 6 damage to that null. And after shooting, Dundrick will move 
towards the outhouse. Next up, I'm going to activate Samuel. It's his time to shine. He's going to take a shot at that null archer. Samuel is plus two. That's a 19 against a five. Yeah, yeah, Samuel's coming out swinging. Good job, buddy. So that's going to be eight damage, which is enough to kill that archer. Deal with him promptly. Now we can focus in on the sergeant. All right, with that squared away, Tobias going to take his shot at the sergeant. Whoo, Tobias. Tobias, 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 my man, Tobias. Yes, sir, that's a crit real early. So that's going to be 22 over the Noel Sergeant's armor 11 is 11 damage, but then plus 5, that's a super just absolute just headshot. Boom. Fatality. We then go to monster phase where all the monsters have heroes in line of sight. So they're all going to be double moving towards the closest. Bringing me to my companion phase where everybody is just going to be making some movement. So we'll show you, I'll show you what it looks like after everybody moves. All right, so I'm beginning to split the party. So I've got my two archers moving this way with Olaf. And then I've got Rathmusen, Sigvald, and Cannoli moving this way with Dundrick. That'll bring us to the event phase of turn one. Getting a red five. A zombie appears behind the barn. There is our zombie behind the barn. And we will go to turn two, ranger phase. All right, so Dundrick is within range to just be able to walk up onto that clue token. So I'm gonna take a shot at the zombie and then move on to the clue token and see what we get. 12 plus 3 is 15, beats a beats an 8. 15 over 12, that'll deal 3, eight, three damage. We'll see what we find in the outhouse. Cocked. 16, we find a weapon in the outhouse. We find a... 11. A light armor of brightness. Which he will shimmy into. And what that does is I can choose when he is shot at to give him plus five to the roll, but I have to declare it before the dice are rolled. So that's his activation. Next up will be Samuel. No. Tobias. 17 plus two is definitely a hit. Over 11 is enough to deal the final three damage to kill that zombie. And then Tobias will move six. I did this because I want to be able to double move Samuel with his lock picking expertise towards the farmhouse to try to get over there and get in there sooner and see what's inside. Yeah, I definitely want to move him first. I considered moving Olaf, but if I leave Olaf still, this wolf is going to come charging at Tobias. He's not going to make it, but he will make it within range of Olaf going in, rushing in and taking we'll a swing. go to monster phase. Obviously this wolf is gonna come here. Now this zombie back here, I gotta go this take a This guy cannot see anybody. There's no hero in line of sight and there's no target point with the scenario. So he'll make a random movement. He's gonna go this way. And at that point, Dundrick is in line of sight. So he'll make a two inch move, which will get him just kind of over the wall. And wolf comes in here, bringing me to my companion phase so we're gonna jump off with Olaf getting in there right, for us off get in there buddy uh, 10 plus his 3 is a 13 which is a hit so he hits armor on the wolf is 10 he's plus 2 for the hammer so that'll deal 5 damage to the rest of that companion phase looks like pushing Sigvald and Rathmusen up and then move it double moving cannoli right here to kite that zombie a little bit so I can control his movement just a touch. So I'm just outside of a, a double move of him being able to get at me and swing. Um, that will bring us to event phase of round two. We get a red two. A bright light appears in the sky. Evil creatures have minus one to their fights and shoots for one turn. Round three, ranger phase. Dundrick has the movement again to get to this clue marker. So he's gonna take a shot at that zombie and then run to the clue marker. What he gets. Um, 12 plus three is 15, even with the minus one for the monster's fight. 
that is a miss. ending up right there to see what's going on. Four is gold and silver. Next, I'm going to activate Tobias, who's going to move in and swing at this wolf with support from Ola. All right. Ooh. So that's a miss. Um, it's a 19 for the wolf against my armor 11 will deal eight right, damage. I need to go ahead and swing with Olaf because he's definitely going to be the wolf is definitely going to swing at Tobias if he's still alive. Oh my goodness. Um, that's a five plus five, eight, ten, not enough. So that's against my armor 11. So that's an 18, so that's 7, so that'll deal 7 Mercy. damage. <laughs> Putting him at 5 and taking us to the creature phase where this wolf is going to swing at Tobias. Ooh, mercy. 7 against my... So that's a 13. Um, over my armor, 11. So it's only going to deal 2 damage, so it's not going to kill me. But it does Ooh. leave me at 1. Oh, and then we got this zombie over here who's now most likely going to be moving to attack. I don't know if he's not going to be able to attack, but it, Dundrick is definitely closer than Cannoli at this point. Oh, I think it's about the same. I'm going to randomize it because it looks like it's about Even the same. Even the zombie will walk towards Dundrick. Even. It'll Even walk towards Right there at the edge of the boat. Scrambling and shambling Bringing again. me to the rest of companion phase. So, Sigvald's going to move that way. Samuel's going to move in here and try to help the fight here. Like, I, I really, I need to kill this one. Okay, wolf. Samuel. Who? So, four. Even with the plus, his plus two goes to six. And... He's plus four, goes to 10. Still doesn't beat an 11. Um, but the monster will also not deal damage to me. So Sigvald moving just to get to where so that when the zombie moves, they'll both snap in. Cannoli rushing down to provide some more support here. And Rathmusen moving this way to try to get a heal off next turn. Bringing us to the event phase for round three. Getting a red 10. A Laurentian soldier appears behind the barn. All right. Showing up right there. You go to ranger phase. Dundrick, since he's not engaged, he's just going to try to pull back and shoot this uh, zombie right in the face. Which he accomplishes with a 22 to hit. I guess that's, yeah, way enough damage. Then way enough move damage. to the front of the barn. Next, I'm going to activate Samuel, who's got the most health in this arrangement, and see if he can do it with plus six worth of support. 13 plus eight here is 21. Okay, yeah, so that's that. He's all right, so Wolf is dead. Jeez Louise. He's dead. going to move his six towards the door. So Rathmusen is going to heal. Tobias for five, putting him back up to six, and then move this way towards Currently the Currently aren't any monsters on the field, so we'll go to companion phase. Okay, and as I begin to sweep across this small property, um, I've got Olaf over here ready to accompany Samuel as they kick this door. Cannoli over here, now he can't activate the clue because he's an animal, but he can be there in case something pops out that is aggressive for whoever does reveal it. Sigvald moving towards the well. Oh, and I've got my, this new this new friend who's gonna move to right there and see what's in the barn. 16. The barn is empty except implements and crates. Something catches your eye. It catches his eye is a shiny clue token, which he has the movement still to get that to. clue is a trap it's a plus two attack oh it's a 19 
Plus two is a 21 over his armor 11 for being a man at arms, which will deal 10 damage. He is armor 12, so it'll deal nine damage. So backing up to the boat for a second, I was supposed to roll there in addition to the clue to see what, if anything, I found in the boat. So that's a 14, which is the boat is empty except something that catches your eye, which was the clue mark. Okay, so nothing of note there. Bring us to Good. the round four event phase. Red eight, earthquake. Each character good and evil must roll target number eight acrobatic or lose their Ooh. activation. Okay, so Olaf is good. Samuel is good. Rathmusen is not good. Um, Tobias is way good. Cannoli is good. Sigvald is, yeah, I didn't really expect him to pass. Dundrick, who's plus three to the roll. Five plus three is eight. And then our friend up here is super good. So yeah, I didn't expect Sigvald and all that heavy armor to, to stay on his feet. That's okay, that's not too bad. Um, only lost two activations out of all that. So I can, I can live with that. Into turn five ranger phase, the first thing I'm gonna do here is try to pick this lock on this farm. Plus three to the roll. Five plus three is eight, and the target number on the house is the target number is eight so that opens the door so let's see what's in the farmhouse 19 we find the family is hiding in the house and they have a wounded Laurentian soldier in, in the house I find a family of four along with a wounded Laurentian soldier with the rest of them or my, my second action I'm gonna move in and investigate this clue mark 15 already got that result 14 is an herb find a anthelus which if any figure is carrying this herb it can be used by either the ranger or any one of his companions after a game that figure gains plus one on its survival roll after the scenario and must decide to use the anthelus before the roll is made oh that's pretty sweet okay Next up in my companion phase, I'm going to move to, hmm, let me look at some things. I'm going to move Tobias up six to just be there in case something bad pops out, and I'm going to move Dundrick all the way up to peek in the well. Let's see what that clue marker is. Eight is a potion. It is a 19 is a potion of heroism. So I'm going to toss the quick leaf out to pick up the potion of heroism because it allows me, I can drink it to regain a heroic action. So that seems better than the quick leaf. For ranger phase, so we'll go to companion phase where we're going to start trying to move people back to safety okay so i've got this group of this family along with the laurentian soldier on point he was wounded but he wanted to take lead on getting this family to safety and then i've got olaf kind of protecting this flank over here in case something should spawn out of this corner or something um cannolis moved over to help our wounded friend right here and that'll bring us to the event phase of turn five Red three, heavy rain, minus one shooting for all archers for the rest of the scenario. So with no monsters on the board right now and no enemies left to shoot at, this is gonna be a turn of just moving people back towards the evacuation. Everybody moving this way, trying again to keep some of my friends in between board edges and civilians so cannoli out here between there olaf closer to the board edge here to kind of protect the back side of this and then tobias as well kind of bringing up that back back rear round guard. five event phase red seven 
a giant spider appears under a random four tree. sets of trees on the table. So we'll go one, two, three, four on a D8. That's three, so it'll come in under this tree. And with three trees in the cluster, we'll randomize which tree it pops under. So one, two, three. Three, so under this one. Wait. Yeah, wait. One, two, this one. Oh, yes, I did have to go back and look at it, and it is under that tree. Six, Ranger Phase. Now, Dundrick has a clear line on that spider right now, so he's going to take plus shot. three to the roll. No, plus two. Ooh, doesn't matter because I can't beat a 20. All right, so for my other two, my two companion activations for the Ranger Phase, I'm going to move, I'm going to move Cannoli and I'm going to move the Laurentian Soldier because Sigvald is like 10 inches away from the spider, so he can't be forced into combat and these two can get away from monster it. phase where that spider will end just outside of being able to swing at Sigvald and then we'll go to my companion phase where Sigvald is going to keep moving there's eight and then I'm going to take some shots why not I'm going to throw I'm going to shoot with Tobias. Tobias is only plus one to this shot because of the rain. Oh, but that's still, that's a crit. And that crit is going to absolutely just pinpoint that spider. Good job. Tobias, your aim is getting better, dude. You got those progression points and your, your aim is just getting way better. So let's plink that off the table. Six, everybody preparing to head back to civilization and just leave the life they've built behind to let the shadow deep engulf it. Ranger phase. Event phase. Red six. A giant spider appears under a random tree. One. So that'll be under this group. There are two trees in there. So on a four up, it'll be this tree. Four up. Falls under this tree. At a ranger phase, and I'm going to sling a hail of arrows at this spider. So we'll start with Tobias. 16 plus 1 is 17 over the armor. Yeah, so 17 over the armor 8 is way more. Is more than moves up into the crowd. Dundrick moves up into the crowd. Then we go to companion phase where no monsters. So just straight to companion phase. So all of these friends are going to leave the board. Leaving the party. Well, Sigvald can move up. They're not going to be, I don't want them to be able to, I don't want them to leave the board because I don't want to leave anybody out to dry. But we've got them to where they are prepared to evacuate the scene in the next round. Round seven event phase. Red four, a zombie appears behind the house. I don't care about that zombie. I am going to just spend my round to leave the table. And that's going to be a successful rescue effort into the Shadow Deep as we have gone back, bringing the full strength of our might to make sure that we are evacuating and rescuing our people and getting them out of the encroachment of the Shadow Deep and back to safety. So let's go take a look at some post game. Okay, so I highly recommend a just keeping a notepad for when you play this game to keep up with what you've done so i get 10 xp for all the random mobs that i've killed oh no wait i didn't count that last spider 12 xp um six for the two gnolls six for saving the two laurentians 20 for investigating all the clue markers and 20 for rescuing the four finding and rescuing the four civilians for a total of 20 40 52 58 64 Okay, so Dundra was able to get a level for which he got a heroic action when he got to level four. So I took steady aim, which is I can choose it before I roll a dice and give plus five to a single shot. Other than that, I had a couple of companions hit their first progression benchmark, so they got an extra health. Cannoli got an extra health, and Rathmusen got an extra health. Samuel survived and got his two progression points for, for making it. Bringing us to a treasure roll, because I do have some gold and silver. That's a four. 
which is gold and jewel. Uh, basically, I turned. They don't. I don't have a use for gold and jewels because I'm armed by the kingdom. So I get to give. I can either choose to get plus ten XP or give a companion a progression point. And I think that I'm going to actually give the give a progression point to Olaf to go ahead and give him that point of help. That, my friends, will do it for this foray into the Shadow Deep. Thank you so much for stopping by, hanging out with me, rolling some dice today. I hope you have an absolutely amazing rest of your day. And as always, my friends, may the dice be ever in your favor. And as always, I'd like to say a big, huge, from the bottom of my heart, thank you to our patrons who support us and pledge to us over on Patreon. You guys are the absolute best. If you enjoyed the content you saw here today and that's something that you would like to consider doing to help out the channel, go over there, check out the link in the description, check out the Patreon. There's a lot of cool stuff over there, including access to our Discord server, talk to me, hang out with me, talk about our work, what we got going on in the hobby. Um, some shout outs, all kinds of cool stuff. Check it out if that's something that you think you would be into. And regardless of whether or not you do that, I want you to know that I am incredibly grateful that you decided to stop by and spend part of your day with me today, rolling dice and pushing toy soldiers around. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And as always, may the dice be ever in your favor.